the fast food workers strike, which I believe started in New York City. It's it's spread across the country, it went to Chicago, it's been to a bunch of other cities. Now it's in Milwaukee. And Stephanie Sanders, who's an activist in Milwaukee with that fast food workers strike, is on the line with us. Stephanie, welcome. Thank you, Tom. So tell me what's going on in Milwaukee. Oh, it's, it's, it's a day of action. It's just everybody coming together for up under one roof, and we're just going to, you know, fast food restaurants and retail stores, and we're just basically trying to get the wages raised. Yeah, you're, I mean, you know, you're, we're, you're pushing for 15. Wages, I'm sorry, yeah, go ahead. We're pushing, for, we're pushing for 15 in the union. Yeah, okay. And, and Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, you know, what's are there specific groups or specific stores or businesses that you're targeting? And it's, it actually is it's billions. It's like majority of them are walking. Yeah, the majority of them are paying yeah. basically yeah, minimum I mean, wage. It's just like we it, it's so big to where you know we have to have police chaperone, you know, just to get through the streets of Milwaukee. Wow. It's, it's a wonderful turnout. Wonderful. A lot of people showing up. Yes. So where do people go if they want to participate with you? People who might be watching us or listening to us in Milwaukee, where do they go? Is there a website or is there a place in Milwaukee in particular that they should go or just drive around looking for you because you're moving around the city or what? Yeah, we're moving around the city. Uh, now we're about to go down to downtown Milwaukee, mm-hmm. and we're gonna uh, we're gonna rally down there and uh, drop banners. Okay. At the mall. That's great. Is there a is there a specific group or is this are you a just an ad hoc group? Are you just a you know put together group of local folks who just said okay you know we're mad as hell we're not going to take it anymore enough already? Right. Yeah. That's yeah. it. We we just we all just came together and we just you know we're tired of getting burns and cuts and just and for low wages you know yeah. like it's just like with me I work for a McDonald's company and I mean I get burns almost every day from the grease right. and I just don't get paid enough to deal with everything that I go through and you know I I feel I should get paid more for the time and effort that I put in yeah well it's it's I think it's just reasonable and and the majority of the jobs that have been created uh, over the last decade or so, to the extent that jobs have been created, have been in things like fast food. They've been in low wage and minimum wage jobs, and right. you know that's w- back back during the Reagan presidency. You know, Reagan was talking about we're going to you know make the country prosperous with Reaganomics, and we were all saying you know do you want fries with that? You know, in other words, you're going to create more of those kind of jobs, and that's what we've seen. We've seen you know our our, our uh, GDP thirty percent of thirty four percent of GDP used to be manufacturing. It's the manufacturing is now around eleven percent. Mostly now we're manufacturing hamburgers instead of you know uh, precision tools. You know good jobs that pay well. So so you guys are saying fifteen dollars an hour. I'm assuming by the way that you did not apply to the IRS for tax exempt status and and get a you know a, a grant or any help from any uh, the, the Koch brothers or any other billionaires. No, not that I know of. Okay. No. <laughs> just, just talking about one of the topics of the day. That's all. It's the, this whole IRS thing. Um, oh, so okay. this is this is so cool that there's just a bunch of people in Milwaukee who said that's it. We're going to do it. We're out not, in the streets. Not, oh, you know what, Tom? Not only in Milwaukee, we have Detroit, Chicago, St. Louis, uh, surrounding areas where it's just not Milwaukee. I mean, we we've come together because uh, we all went to Chicago for there and yeah. Detroit. And so, you know, I guess they felt that, you know, they had to, you know, repay us and say thank you by joining our movement. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's a marvelous thing what you're doing. And, and um, you I'm, assuming, so I'm assuming that you would suggest that people in other cities around the country do the same thing. If people wanted yes. to show yes. up and, you know, in solidarity with fast food workers, what should they do if they're, if they're in, you know, Paducah, Iowa, okay. or in New York City? I mean, wherever they may be. Basically... Basically, go to your 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 nearest union, mm-hmm. wherever you know, wherever you you feel that you know you can, you'll be protected. You know, mm-hmm. go to go to them. You know, explain your situation, and I'm sure they have resources that are help with the fight. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And uh, there's even uh, you know, workingamerica.org is for people who have no access to a union. That's the AFL-CIO runs that. Yeah. And so, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of great resources out there. Stephanie Sanders, a Milwaukee fast food a working a worker on strike for $15 an hour from McDonald's. And Stephanie, I so respect what you're doing. 
Um, Thank you so much, Tom. Yeah, and th- and thanks so much for being with us. Um, oh yes, I, I no appreciate problem. It. Okay, have a good.